What price makes us most happy with an epi? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. Appetizers. They are a tricky beast. If I come at them too hungry, I inevitably eat too much and I spoil my meal. Yeah. But if I show restraint, I feel like the untouched appetizers are just sitting there staring at me, mocking me silently. I mean, when my family mocks me, at least I know it. It's very obvious. Yeah. It somehow feels worse when it's just a feeling coming from appetizers. Yeah, okay, I understand that, but I have a different problem when it comes to appetizers, because when I look at an appetizer menu, I just want to order everything on it. Of everything you looks do. so good, so bite-sized, but you can't yeah. order all the apps, that would be too expensive. No. Which brings us to today's question. How much should we really be paying for all those appetizers? Do more dollar signs really mean more enjoyment? I just don't want to get mocked. Huh? It's time for Naked Foods, Naked Appetizers Edition. Naked. We're about to try four different appetizers from four different price points. Four. The freezer section of a convenience store or a grocery store. Okay. Fast casual restaurants, sit down restaurants, and fine dining restaurants. All right, each round we'll pick our favorite appetizer from the lineup, then Stevie's gonna reveal which appetizer is from which spot and how much it costs, yeah. so that by the end, we'll each know how much our ideal appetizer budget should be. Happy days are here again. This is shrimp cocktail. And this is a big Good old shrimp. Gosh, look Good at that gracious. thing. That, that shrimp they're, rocks. They're just like and shooting this thing up with hormones. It's been totally detailed. Like this is the edible part of the tail, like the shell on the tail is no more. Good gracious. It's nice and clean. It's been deveined. And the cocktail sauce is also from the establishment? Oh yeah. Correct. Shrimp cocktail includes both the shrimp and the cocktail. <laughs> Move yours over so if I go in again, I know which one it is. Okay, I'll go for now. Okay, so this one, these shrimp, they they have been not out been in the sun too much. Oh, they have not been detailed, but they're like oh they're but, firmer and they're whiter. That first one really they got had, bleached. Really had a fishy taste. Even though the tails on this one, it's less seafoody. You like this one more than that one? I didn't say that. I just said it's less seafoody. I'll always do the one that's not closest. You do that. You on that side? Okay. I don't like that one as much. But this one's too big. I don't like my shrimp that big because it too makes big, me start thinking food. they might have feelings. Now these are little. You know what I'm saying? A shrimp gets big enough, it gets a brain. The tail is, oh no, what? Yeah, yeah, that's, get start, don't that's tell about me to that. get a brain. Ooh, that's yeah. not true. Tell me that crap. <laughs> well, hold on. You eat like mammals, they have brains. You don't want to think about this? Yeah, but I don't want to eat the brain. You eat all parts of the shrimp. That's been frozen. Oh, I whistled. Do you hear that? Sh shrimp. <laughs> I don't like any of these. I like this one the best. I like that one the least. And look at this one. It's very, it's like it's, this one looks like it's been bleached. It's very white, the whiteness. The cocktail sauce is overwhelming. Whoa! Wow! Yeah, that's too much for me. All right, I know which one's my favorite. This one. Is that what I'm voting for? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like we've never done this before. I, I don't particularly- I know we typically three, two, one, but- I don't particularly like any of them, but, and I'm not just saying that because they're bigger, I actually think the taste of the cocktail sauce and the shrimp on these are the best. The biggies. Okay, Wink. You have chosen our frozen yeah, option that was from awful, Kroger. Dude. But How hey, it's Kroger. Like it's, it's Kroger. It's just bland. Uh, for 280. But Rhett's, that's right, it's time for a fancy pants dance, sir. Good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mooshell. Mooshell, wow, it's always great to see Mooshell. Now, can Especially I just, when it's on your well, dime. Well, let me tell you the price difference here because okay, it's quite okay. shocking. So from Link's like frozen $2.80 version, yours is from Mastro's, which is a Beverly Hills Steakhouse for $30. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. $30 for like five, four? Locke went there with one of his friends for a birthday party and Doc Rivers was there. 
Really? Just coaching away. Just sitting there eating. The Get next you, one. Box out the shrimp. Box out the shrimp. The next one over is our, I'm gesturing with my hand as if you can see me, uh, is a fast casual from COD slash COD, COD Seafood House good. for 1450 yeah, And then piece. the final one with the uh, cocktail sauce the tangy, tangy. is our sit down from Black Angus Steakhouse it for wasn't 1619 bad, but, I mean, that, that sauce was, was too strong. Over oh, the can top. I, can I just take a second? Listen, uh, uh, speaking of Mouchelle, We've worked tirelessly to convince you that Chase is not Mouchelle. That is this very stupid, absurd conspiracy theory. Right. But some of you still think we're hiding the truth about who Mouchelle really is. In fact, Carrot Plays, we saw your comment. I'll believe that Chase is not in that cow costume that you guys call Mouchelle when Chase does a fancy pants dance with Mouchelle. Well, Carrot Plays, you don't know who you're plaising with. Chase, come out here and prove to all these people that you are not Mouchelle. Hit the music. I mean, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be physically possible right? if Chase was Mouchelle, okay? Wake up! These are nachos. Stevie, I'm sorry that we're eating nachos and you're just having to watch. And Stevie oh, loves her nachos. Love Favorite nachos, thing. Man. Now these are from Taco Bell. I can just look at it and tell. These are nacho nachos, Stevie. We'll save you some. I'll pass on that what one. That? I mean, they make a pretty good nacho. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's, it has to be Taco Bell. This or is Taco like, Bell, as we call it. This is Costco or like Dodger Stadium. Look how sad this is. But there's something about the simplicity of it. And a real jalapeno. jalapeno. Well, you know, Link might like it. You know, it's hard to make a bad nacho. Mm-hmm. Those are good nachos. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, listen, you don't need to rub it in. It's I'm good sitting to just right here. Down. All these nachos are so good, Stevie. Now this right here. This is a purdy nacho. Good gracious, the stuff on this thing. Good, look. Oh Wait, is that goodness? Is that a is that a guacamole? What is happening there? Is that I mean I don't Beans. know if I can even get that in my mouth. Cilantro. Hmm. The cilantro comes on strong with this one. The cilantro is strong with this one. Now, <laughs> over here, this is um, this is, looks like some sort of enchilada sauce. Oh, drizzle. it's got a little soft. <laughs> and then you've got a guacamole you packet. A little, little mountain in the middle. Very good guacamole. Hmm. That's good, but oh my goodness! Look, they got whole beans. Whole beans. It's got whole beans. And what is this? Oh, that's just a bunch of guacamole. Hmm. I'm ready. I gotta go back in here. Three, two, one. I'm. I was tempted to go with Taco Bell mm -hmm. because that beef isn't bad. You know. Okay, so. Rhett, you have chosen our sit-down place, Yard House Chicken Nachos Yard House for does it $14. Right, like, I am honestly, the place this is from, every time I go there, I find uh, hair in my food. So luckily, uh, you did not today. Oh. But it is technically our fine dining option. So please, rise for the Fancy Pants Dance. Wow. Really? I'm going to go back in for those while you're dancing. I just said I always find hair in my food, and you were like, I gotta go back in for that. Is that good? It's uh, Casita del Campo for Casita $21. Campo. And then, yes, the that first means ones. House where you camp. <laughs> the first ones are from Taco Bell for $5.29. Right. And then the others are our like frozen ish gas station option. They're from AMPN for $4.29. It's not bad. Ain't no shame in any price point. This is spinach and artichoke dip. Boy. Spinach. I mean, think about it. Have you ever ordered this and not been happy? It, it's such a strange dish because you're right. Even though, like, spinach and artichokes, ugh, it's just, it's, I don't care. It's just, I don't care for it. But when you add the cheese, that's nice. And I think that the telltale sign here is the chip itself. We got this like some triangulated pita, chips. pita chip. I would keep eating that. Very rich. I'm not of a dip. Super excited about it. Now this is interesting. 
Because you've got... That dip is good. You've got just pieces of bread. Oh, and it's like very golden toasted on one side. Oh gosh, I got a lot. And then it's it's very, the artichoke chunks mm. don't hesitate here. The flavor of that dip is exquisite. Wow, you're right. It's creamy. How are they getting that flavor out of that? And the bread's not bad either. The bread's not bad either. That's nice. This is your run of the mill pita chip. Yeah. Nothing spash here. And no. then this looks like some sort of, it just, it almost looks coagulated. That has a fish food flavor. Spinach is too strong. Oh yeah, bad spinach. Ugh. Good cheese taste. So you get the cheese at the beginning of your taste, which is good, and then you get followed up with some bad Ugh. spinach. What that's bad. Now, what what is this? Is this, is this, you that's, think this is chilies? This is tortilla chips, so maybe. These aren't exactly chilies chips. Oh, so no, on. they're not thin enough. That's a good dip, friend. That's got the great cheese taste and then no follow up aftertaste. Wow. Hmm. That's a contender. You ready? Hmm. Mm. This Three. doesn't look good, but it sure is. It's Two. close, but there's a clear winner for me. And one. Mm, yeah. yeah, we gotta go with that. I mean, it's almost otherworldly good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you could do that with spinach and artichoke dip. I love bread. It just has to be the, the pricey pricey. It's good enough for a three-way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Hey, Chase, can you help Michelle up? <laughs> oh, you going to the restroom? Okay. Yeah, so that's our fine dining option from Daily Grill for $20. Daily Grill, $20. The, yep. The first one is our sit-down Olive Garden for eleven twenty-nine. Not bad. Not bad. And then the next one over is Target yeah. for a total of five thirteen. And lastly, Fast Casual House of Pies for nine twenty five. House of Pies brings some niceness. Yeah. But I never would have thought that I would be willing to like splurge on spinach and artichoke dip, but here I am. There you go, you did it, you splurged. Okay, before we enjoy these crab cakes, mm. uh, I wanna tell you about something that we have done that we should have done a long time ago. Uh, you know that Link and Cotton Candy Randy don't really get along, and this animosity has really been uh, you know, bothering me personally as a friend to both of them. So I decided to do something about it. I hired a real therapist. And he's not kidding. And, and we we filmed the therapy session. Is this relationship sexual in nature or is this relationship? <laughs> I'm, That's a little judgy, Link. Why are you laughing at that, man? <laughs> oh, I've always been afraid to ask. I would be lying to you if I said that when Randy's face is close to mine, and I don't know if it's Randy or the cotton candy or some combination of the of both of them. Okay. I'm a little aroused. Okay. Yeah, after I visit Rhett, my pants get messy. Okay. I want to ask another question. So, Link, is your relationship with Rhett sexual as well? Do you guys have that component? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can Randy and I work through our issues? What are our issues? I mean, uh, that, plenty. I will tell you, I, I learned a lot, and I you're going to like watching our therapy session. It was, it had this, it was, it's legitimate. Head over to the Mythical Society, mythicalsociety.com now, watch Couples Therapy with Cotton Candy Randy, me and Rhett, available for any degree. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. Stevie? These are crab cakes. These are crab cakes. And- This could be anything. Well, yeah, what Look is this? It's a, it's it could a, be a wheel. It's a, like a puck of a fried you don't, hockey puck. You don't need a fork for that. That's like a tater tot. I like to order crab it's cakes. It's not bad though, is it? At a restaurant. A lot of breading, a lot of filler. I don't but, really taste the crab. Yeah, but it's not, I mean. I just taste more of the It's not cake. what a crab cake could be, but it's not like 
bad, bad. Are, are you a crab cake orderer? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, this one's really got the flaky flaky. I love a crab cake. I'm gonna go to the middle. Woo! A good crab cake, it just really grabs you at first with that. It really crabs you. Crabby crab. Yeah, this is very crab forward. Um, I don't like the complimentary spices that they have gone with on this one. It's not my fave. It's it's a little sweet. Now this one looks very oh gosh, it's high dollar, rustic almost. Big pieces of crab, lots of it. That's a different level for me. It's very mild too. I like it because it's mild. Mm-hmm. The crab is the star. Ooh, dang! And they're so generous with the with the crab meat here. So generous. We not a lot know. of breading. We don't know though, because if, if it's really expensive, maybe they're not that generous. Here's another fried puck. <laughs> maybe I'm allergic to crab. Bless you. <sighs> Bless you, child. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat that puck like I did the other puck. I'm gonna break this one up, show you a little bit. Uh, this is not that impressive. Hmm. That's pretty pucky. A lot of bread. That's equal to the other puck. Yeah. Ew, that's not good. Yeah. Again, I don't think any oh. of them are bad necessarily. Yeah. But I mean, this is pretty Three, two, We got to one. go here, right? That's this a, is oh gosh. This is one of the best crab cakes I've ever that's had. That's a great crab cake. Guys. I'll pay anything for it. Now listen. I I did you when you came in this morning for this episode. Do you have one I did? Hmm. Did you consider the shoes you were wearing? The and did shoes. you consider them to be yeah. a dancing shoe? Yeah, yes. Oh. <laughs> How did you lose? Michelle lost both of her both shoes. Both of Chase's sho your shoes. No, both of her, her shoes. Um, so that was our fine dining option from Boa Steakhouse for $24. Oh, how many? $24. Worth every penny. The first is our fast casual California poke house for $9.99. Ooh. Then we have sit down Crab Avenue for $15.95. Crab, Crab Avenue? Is Crab, the Crab Avenue. Avenue. And then uh, on the end there, that's our frozen option. Waterfront Bistro. Uh, Waterfront. $138 yeah. each. Yeah, that I mean, thing hasn't seen a waterfront in a long time. Crab is something that you get what you pay for. The more you pay, the more crab you get. Mm -hmm. Yes, very clear. So the lowest possible total was thirteen sixty, and the highest possible was ninety five dollars. Rhett, your perfect appetizer meal total was eighty eight dollars, and Link, your perfect appetizer meal total was sixty seven eighty. Hey man. We were both pretty fancy today. Yeah, we get fancier with the app. It's a fancy day. Yeah, it ain't over, man. What, what now? What are we gonna do? Uh, probably good mythical more. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks for, for subscribing and, and clicking, clicking that, that bell. bell. You, you know, know what time, time it is. is. Hi, I'm Anna from Durham, North Carolina, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Yep. Yeah. Kept the sunglasses yeah, keep on. The, keep the thumbs up no matter what happens. <laughs> Flip the top link to watch us come up with the perfect names for phone apps that don't yet exist in Good Mythical Mary. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. It may feel hurtful. Can you? No, I love it. You Call love me a that. dork and punch me in the butt. And I'm okay. Well, we're not gonna touch body parts today. We're gonna keep it safe in here. Great. <laughs>